My name is Rhapsody. His name is Orbital Potato, and welcome back to Slipways. How's it going, bud? I am doing very well. How are you doing, Rhapsody? I could scarcely be doing better. I have. Uh, this is, as uh, as as we know off camera, this is this is both of our days off. Uh, so we've just found a little time to get a little bit more Slipways in because we're both just absolutely nuts for the game, just mental for it. It's really. Really good. It's uh, honestly probably my game of 2021 already. I'm calling it. I'm calling it right now. Damn. I'm calling it right now. That's that right. Is, that is a big call. There are a lot of good games that will be coming out this year. You don't think uh, DD2 might knock its perch? Um, no, I don't actually, because Darkest Dungeon 2. You know, there's something about Darkest Dungeon, right? It requires a. Uh, it requires a lot of learning to be good at it. Slipways mm. is. You know, you you know straight out the gates what you're getting into. You know, you know, you know what all the mechanics are. You just gotta, you just gotta play. Yeah, exactly. It it presents you with complete information for a lot of the things yeah. you're interacting with. Like it's it's you're not gonna like colonize a planet and then go. Well, actually, this planet was bad, and now you lose. <laughs> right? Exactly. Exactly. So, oh, dude, I'm so hyped. I'm so hyped for it. I'm so keen to see all of the rest of those modes here filled out as well. The Endless, the Campaign, oh. the Daily Run, the Gauntlet. How's the universe going to turn against you? The Gauntlet, I tell you, is the one that I'm most excited for, actually. Like, a Daily Run is going to be great, and I'm really going to enjoy competing with uh, with everyone else in the Wholesome Verse. Mm -hmm. But, like, Gauntlet is, is going to be, I think, probably my preferred single-player experience. I suspect. It, it seems and, like it's definitely positioning yeah. itself to be that. It's just like you get to you get to play as long as you want into the late game, and you just need to try and survive as long as possible. I mean, it just sounds so perfect. Mm -hmm. Sounds so good. Well, I'm very, uh, very looking excited. forward to seeing your channel pivot into the uh, Slipways only channel. I know that's just <laughs> on the horizon. Hey, uh, you asked me last time when we got to this screen, and I I gave kind of a format that we ended up sticking to a fairly large amount. So I will ask you in return. What are some of the races you want to consider looking at here? We can have a look at their perks. There are their different texts they've got unlocked and decide afterwards. But have you got a favorites? Um, have I got a favorites? Mm. I think I have a, a, box a of favorites. favorites. A box of favorites. Life is like a box of favorites. You never know what you're gonna get. Um, <laughs> that's that's right. That's <laughs> that the quote, isn't work it? Work with favorites because they're written on every individual <laughs> chocolate. That's okay. You know what? You make a good point. Um, Life is like a box of favorites if you're blind, <laughs> because then you won't know what you're going to get. Well, I guess you can get, get it by feel. Hang on. Wait a second. There's a better one in here. <laughs> and before Life you know it, like you've touched all the chocolates. That's right. That's, that, is, that is the quote. Um, I, okay. All right. Go, go, click on, go click on everyone. Let's see what we got here for level one text for everyone. Because I feel like we stall super hard in the mid game. And we need to actually think about ensuring that we have some sort of sustainability in the mid game if we're doing it on tough, which I assume we are. Yes. I think we are, right? Yeah, we are. That's we're right. on the highest difficulty here again as well. We've got uh, Bakar over here with deep drilling as well as geothermals. Also has whenever you deliver minerals, gain six with deep drilling mm -hmm. on top. So we could try and do some like heavy mining for our build, possibly. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We've also got okay. the uh, Vittori, I think this is, with the Orbital Labs. So we convert an idle person into an idle, well, not idle, but uh, a research per year and slip amplifiers, which is an improvement on a planet that increases the range of slipways connecting to them by 50%. Okay. All I've right. Never, I like this. I've never built that. Have you built that? Um, no, I don't think I have. I have built, I think Lensify is also a Vittori tech that allows you to convert planets into, uh, what are they called? Uh, scanner things? What are the, the range extenders. Yeah, yeah, what? slipstreams. My brain. I, I could have sworn that that was this race that had Lensify, but maybe they, uh, Maybe sharing. you're right. Maybe you're right. You could, you could very well be correct. Either way, I think sorting out the mid game is very important. Sorting out late game happiness is also important because like happiness is what it's all about, right? Both in life and in slipways, you have to optimize for happiness. You have to optimize for happiness Damn, all the time. Deep shit. That's right. That's right. Always optimize for happiness. I'm I'm doing the um, the as if I was listening to beat poetry clap the the like 
just you know the one they like click their fingers without clicking their fingers they just slide their fingers past each other as if they're like gesturing for money in like a 90s sitcom <laughs> Okay, <laughs> right? You're not familiar uh, with it. Uh, not watching no, watch, not... uh, beat poetry, I know. <laughs> that makes you the no, nerd, but... not me, right? That's that's true. <laughs> that's true. Um Yeah, I mean okay, so controversially, I actually maybe think that the very first perk that you've got on the list here is is what we're after. The Bakar mineral perk. Mm. Just maybe it's gonna give us just an additional sort of little income stream a little bit of a side hustle yep deliver an ore maybe uh, as to the rest of it i mean i feel like you should pick the other the you pick you should pick the other two sure you should pick the other two and the other perk so i feel like we were having money trouble i think that was like one mm -hmm. of the primary things that we were having trouble with uh i mm -hmm. think that if we take this race here in the middle what are they called again the aphorians the deal brokers of the galaxy where because uh, they focus on wealth trade and efficiency and mm -hmm. I think if we take Xenotourism to unlock Taurus planets, where you can just create money, but the input is people, and then it's people and microchips, then it's people, microchips, and goods, then it's people, microchips, goods, and uh, robots to get it to mm -hmm. pros uh, prosperous. And then you can just build money ridiculously. You can print money and then start abusing all of the techs of everyone else. So if okay. we built a bunch of money using Xenotourism and then we built a bunch of uh, ores so that we could create all of the things that we're going to need for the tourist resort, you know what we could exploit the hell out of after that? Oh, micro forges, dude. Micro -forges. I was, we were on the same page there. I mean, oh, I tell you what, that last game that we had has mm. really like changed my opinion on the, the Silthid, Slithid. Yep. And I'm, I'm all in on micro forges now. I'm all in on Microforge. Yo. I tell you what. Look at this. It unlocks mineralize on ice ball, desert, and lava planets. And oh. we deliver all. We get more ore from deep drill. I think oh, we got a stew going here. This is perfect. This is perfect. If you like stew, then this is fantastic. If you don't like stew, then uh, we got a problem. Exactly. And that problem is I'm going to force feed you stew until you like it. Oh, no, I was talking about the person, Stu. He's a jerk. Oh, what, what, wait, hang on. So we're good if you do like Stu, who is a jerk. But if you don't like Stu, who is a jerk, we have a problem. Are we Stu? <laughs> are, are we the bad? We are Stu. We are Stu. This whole time. Damn it, I never knew. Um, what, What's the other perk then? What do we What do we got? We got four to choose from, right? So we have I, novelty. I rate choices. that. Yeah, I rate that, by the way. It's one of the only other sources of goods at all. In fact, it's the only non-Forge World source of goods. Yeah. Save structures and microforges and stuff. However, yeah. planets receiving goods earn 25% more income is also really appealing when you have Xenotourism. Oh, that's so hype. That's so hype. <laughs> There's also the Factory Builders reduces Forge World colonization time by one month. This may, over the course of the game, save us like a half year to a year. Which, it's not nothing. But... Close. Yeah. And planets making their bots have their production increased by one unit. So I'm I'm gonna say because you you gave me broad range over picking these two. I'm gonna say you should pick the uh, the perk which with we go here. I mean it's between it's between the the two Aphorian techs, right? Novelty traders is pretty good. Luxury is also pretty good. I feel like luxury is. I think we take luxury if we're supremely confident that we're going to be able to... Got it. <laughs> to, you know, to play a good game. You know, I, I, I don't know. Like, I feel like that is the almost the coward's way out, taking taking goods on a, on a new planet. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know. I come down very, very close to the, to the center here between luxury and novelty traders because we got to be confident. We got to be confident about supplying the goods. You know what? Leave it like that. You know what? We're, we're no cowards. We're, we'll take luxury. Hell Let's yeah. freaking go. We are a bit of an oxymoron there. We're, in, we're no cowards, but we will take luxury. <laughs> Love it. I'm into All right. it. Ooh, that's the five directly around us. But let's see if we can find better positional ones. Fours, fours, fours through and through. This could be a five. No, it's not a fiver. Right. Honestly, your your OG fiver was a, was a pretty good one. Ooh. Yeah, that's hype. That's hype. Mine, really and then a remnant world directly next to it. 
we will have to consider, right, if we are going to want to rush the... So here's my broad mental plan for it, right? Um, yeah. Unlocking Xenatorism as soon as we possibly can so that we can use that money to fuel our ability to do everything else. Like, absolutely hemorrhaging happiness if we need to. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Using that to then leverage our ability to go into the late game with a bunch of uh, tech and try and get things like skill up facility, increases production by one, probably not necessarily that. Zero point, I mean, that's going to be good too. Uh, but try and find ways later on to produce happiness, having leveraged the resources that we got in the early game by losing it. Yeah, I think you're, I think you're absolutely right. The catch up mechanic that we're mm. desperately trying to leverage. But, yeah, but we have, right? We've done it consistently. A lot of the time we have to skip yeah. a lot of the early years and then the late game just brings us back in. Right? Absolutely, completely agree. Uh, so I, mean, I will also say hmm. secondarily, I would love to get up the Taurus Resort as quickly as possible. So mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. having an Earth system very close to base next to a lot of things that are going to be creating resources that may be relevant to it. We may want to leave this here if possible so that we can create the Tourism Factory early. Okay. Immediately, I completely agree with you on, on literally every point. I Perfect. think that mine that mine there is is ready to rock and roll as as a form of income. I mean that's that's six six bucks as soon as we connect it, which is really really nice. Mm -hmm. And if we can find it if we can find it somewhere to go, then that'd be brilliant. Assuming that we can supply it via the Earth planet uh, as well. Basically, this is I think contingent on just finding a wheat production planet around the vicinity of the Earth planet, and then we will be able to basically do whatever we want to do. That's not the primordial planet if we want to save that for the the, the tourism factory. Uh, At the primordial point. planets can't be the tourism factory. It's oh, Earth, okay, jungle, right. and ocean planets. So it would be this one right. we would have to save, which would mean we would have to find people elsewhere. I think what we need to do at the start here is, because I, I think you're bang on with that, but we may be able to supply these from the opposite side. So if we start scouting out in this right. direction. Yeah, go for it. Let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so we can get a three banger there or a three banger here. Unfortunately, down here, like our three banger. Actually, we don't even have a three banger down here that oh wait oh, that's got it we yeah. can i think yeah i think we scan high value sources first i know that sounds like a bit of a redundant statement but like high value i think we prioritize the three over to the the hard north the hard north what what, what does that even mean this is sorry the you know the, the hard three, north. Uh, i i yeah we live in the hard north <laughs> uh it's it's funny actually because when you say the north when you say the North in the UK, uh, people from England will just assume you're talking about like Newcastle, mm -hmm. i.e. the the border between Scotland and England. Mm -hmm. But when you when you know when I say North, I actually mean the North of the freaking country, as just opposed to the North of the largest region. Oh, I which I is mean, that's, that's exactly what I think. External. <sighs> so is that just like, is that kind of like a, a what would it be called like, uh, Englishcentrism? Anglocentrism. Yeah, I I just don't I don't know how this. I wonder if it's like, I wonder if this is like one of those comments that runs back to days of old that has sort of just carried, carried through. Wow, that's actually quite fortunate. Ridiculously, pretty, pretty good. Uh, jungle? No, that's not a jungle. That's a swamp. Swamps can't become. What is it? Earth like, ocean like, and jungle, jungle that can become. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This can be yeah, mineralized I, 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 later I, I, on as yeah. well. That's actually legitimately hype. That's that's pretty hype. Wait, that. Oh wait, hold on. If we take mineralized, then that means that we're not going to be able to pick up geothermal, right? Yeah, exactly right. We have to choose xenotourism and geothermal, or but like xenotourism will take as like a given. Yeah, yeah. So I guess we're foregoing deep drilling, which I guess is fine, right? We're not going to need I that. Don't if we're care. Gonna be that's fine. Producing as much as we are. I I think xenotourism and geothermals is probably the one we want to go with. Um, let's see if we have anything. Oh, we have geo harvesting later on, so we can actually just turn them into money oh, if we want to. Brilliant. That's really good. We need to take extreme miniaturization. Oh, but that means we're going to be foregoing hyperdrive. Oh, oh, I love, I love hyperdrive. That's okay, so hang on. Here's, here's an idea. Uh-huh. What if we went deep drilling and uh -huh. xenotourism? We skip uh -huh. geothermals, 
which is mm -hmm. hard to do. But we do have vacuum energy at the very top if we need that. So we'll okay. have a way to get energy much later on. And we'll have a lot of money, right? That's the the whole idea here is, is generation of money yeah. relatively early on. Then that gives yeah. us the ability to use the extra ore that we're going to get from deep drilling to fund tech labs to just make any of the resources we need, which will then fund our Xenotaurus things. And then we use hyperdrive so we can kind of just jump over the connection points. I like that. I like that a lot. Where Skip does... I don't think skip, skipping slipstream relay is a problem. I mean, we did fairly well last time without uh, without the slipstream relay. Hang on, we do get three level two techs. Oh, then we're totally fine. I yeah. don't even know why this is a problem then. It's yeah. this easy. Perfect. Hmm. All right, so... Okay, I mean, this is... Yeah. Yeah, more explore. More explore. We yeah. want more explore. So at the forefront for me right now is we need a lab down as soon as possible so that we can get towards the Xenotaurism. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, colony anti anti hype on that one that was uh yeah. that's that's a non-pog right there does this okay, that was so a, we could, an anti pog so we could use this as a colony if we desperately wanted to but it wouldn't be able to access both of these maybe we do use this as a uh as a hive world and feed them out in that direction that's we what i was kind of thinking we would have to find a, a xenotourism a xenotourism uh receptacle it's a Xenotourism receptacle, uh, but it's very far from the two things yeah. we want to use it with. Oh, hang on, hang yeah. on, hang on. Boom, there's our people. Wait, oh, uh, there's Forge World. Hang on. We may need two different sources of people. Yeah, I'm, I'm just sort of thinking, maybe we... I mean, I'm thinking at the absolute minimum, it's going to be at least three turns before we get... Xenotourism, right? Like, yep. best case scenario is we're able to get the lab down right now. We're able to supply, like, I don't know, two ore, something like that, mm -hmm. immediately, and the people, and it'll still take at least two or three turns to get us the, the Xenotourism. Yep. So, I mean, with that in mind, it really is just a case of how much do we want to leverage that remnant world in the center to produce ore? Because if we're able to produce ore there, then we have scrapping operation, we have a mine, we have any random colony, uh, maybe the, the ocean world, maybe the arid world up at the top, mm -hmm. and we just sort of all feed it into a lab, I, I guess, potentially. I think the hive world would maybe be a bit better. Uh, the hive world. Yeah, the hive world on the ocean planet would be perhaps a little bit better, or on the Earth-like even. Okay. To supply people. And then we just double ore into a lab. And then we just... I don't know, supply wheat from the primordial planet. I mean, we don't actually need, necessarily need to worry about supplying wheat immediately because we get two people as default from the hive world. Yeah, the problem is just like, where do we get the biomass from the monoculture, right? It, it just kicks the problem away yeah. down unless we have a solution yep. for that. I, th I think you're right. I think we can just send like a lab here-ish and then throw these Ooh, in. Oh, actually, right? actually, hang on. Yeah, that black hole is a bit of a problem. It is indeed, right? Because we're going to need the people coming in from each of these. Then we need the output for each of those to here. I mean, just you can you can play through it actually, uh, and just like just go for it. See, uh, see what the. Okay, connect the ore up. Oh, nice. That's cool. That's hype, actually. Before I look at the missions. Let's undo as much of that as possible, right? Yeah, good good call, actually. Yeah. Because... Yeah, so... Um, we need a like, third... Yeah, we need a third person, so we need to connect up the wheat, actually, from the primordial world as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I like that. Uh, how much of that can we do without... Without putting down extra things we're going to have to pay for for the new year? Like, what are the That's most great... efficient things that we can have out on the board? Biomass into Hive World. Probably. I imagine. Uh, sorry, a primordial planet that produces wheat into... I mean, pra placing the lab is, is last, right? Because, yeah, you need to build long slipways and the lab costs an extraordinary amount of money. Yeah, we cannot get any research by the yeah. end of this year, so let's not optimize for that. 
Correct. Exactly. So there we're neutral. Okay, is that... okay, I mean, maybe connecting up a mine instead of that route then? Because we can always connect that route up super quickly later. That's true. Just depends on whatever makes us money. I also really would like to know what that planet is right next to the... Yeah, th that three banger right down there, right next to the Earth world, I would dearly love to know what that is. So but it looks I'm a like... bit scared. I, I think we do that, but it looks like no matter what connection we make here, we're just going to be even on money, right? It's the amount of exports and upkeep are just going to be equal. Um, yeah, okay. And we don't want to colonize another new planet before the end of the new year so that we don't have to pay the upkeep. So why not just check that now? Yeah, all right. Can you make that a four banger? Can indeed. Oh, he's Ooh. such a gamer. That's perfect, actually. That's legitimately perfect. We're cooking with gas, baby. <sighs> All right, let's look That's, at emissions. I mean, that is just, a, I, I mean, just a, 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 for the avoidance of doubt, that is a prime receptacle for xenotourism. Like yes. that is literally prime. Exactly. Optimus right. prime. It's it's optimal and prime. Exactly. We're going to go uh, the person down from here. Then we've got feed in of any relevant resource, any relevant resource. We'll be able to get it to successful from this. And God, yep. if we can find prosperity just by looking out to another side and get like an early prosperous ocean colony, Oh, that would be that would be very hype. I think this is I think this is how we fix all of our early game issues. This is this is so good. Mm -hmm. Uh or production planet to successful. Establish two-way trade with planets. Increase total production of robots by four. What are you thinking here, Raps? What are you thinking? So I think um the all planets are successful is possibly something that just may happen while we're doing everything else. Right? Because mm -hmm. we're gonna be taking mm -hmm. outputs from remnants and we're gonna want to fill uh feed the correct amounts into the random planets as well. Um, mm -hmm. And if we're using the mining operation on the northernmost one, that's not going to be difficult for us to do. Because, like, hang on, let's look at it. The scrapping operation, so that would just need water. Either of these just takes water. This person to make water, although we're using that to make the thing for this. Hang on, so maybe another source of water out here, which we do not have yet. There's a jungle planet down here, which could supply water. Thawing facility could supply water, I guess. That's yeah, I tell you what, thawing facility, thawing facility across from the yeah the the remnant world. Eventually, we could easily get that to successful. Yep, I suspect. Okay, so that's so that's good. Could we? Is it maybe worth us connecting up the? Is it is it maybe worth us getting the labs online right now? So the second uh, remnant world, the wheat world, and the lab down. Can we do all of that by the end of uh, the year? Yes, we can. Uh, and that won't affect any of these missions, so we can just send. Yeah. Those. So just you want to do you want to do top two you want to take top two, top two missions. I, I think top two missions probably. This one's going to take us yeah. a little longer to complete, but it does have more rewards behind it. But I I think I think you're right. I think we can take these two. I think top two is 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 okay. I mean we're only year two. I'm not I'm not super worried. Yeah, I think this will be fine. I think this will be fine. Okay, good. And then we'll be double or is actually connected. Uh, no, you'll be able to get both of them connected. We're in December. That's a good point, actually. That's uh, that's a great point. I was thinking money was the problem. It's not because we get uh, we get additional cash. Are we are we in a deficit situation? Yep, we're making a loss. Oh, this uh, that's a, that's a, that's a problem. Maybe we, maybe we don't even, maybe we don't even place the lab down this year. Is that, is that the play? We don't place the lab down this year. So Xenotourism's eight. So we would need two years of four, right? And then funding both of those in is one research, right? Just the first of each is one. Let's actually mm -hmm. have a look at the, the output from here. Yeah. Yeah. You can do the maths. So yeah, that's giving us one research, and then if we add another one, we get two more research, right? So we would only be able to get one research before the end of this year, and then next year we'll be able to get three. And then it just comes down to, are we putting another human in here from any other source, like uh, possibly the colony up here? Because if we are, yeah. then one, three, four, in three years' time, we can get the eight that we need for xenotourism. Otherwise, we have to wait an extra year if we don't put down the lab. I mean, I guess we put, I guess we put down the lab. Yeah. I guess we put down the lab. 
kind of sucks, I guess. But yeah, I guess we, I guess we have to. We get money as yep. we connect each of these, at least. So. Yeah, it's it's something. It's something, at least. It's something. It's certainly trying to be. I'm just wondering, is there any way that we can successful a planet right now? Is there a connection that could possibly be made between that Forge World and the and the uh, the Goods World? Forge World and the Goods World. Forge World. Yeah. Um. If I you mean... hold Alt. Oh right, sorry. On the uh, on the Forge World. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's 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 within range. Sorry. It's it's it's. I just wanted to, to to clarify that it's within range to the to the goods planet there. Yeah. Like we could throw that back down here with the the goods, if that's what you're looking at. Yeah. I, I was just sort of thinking, but I mean, obviously that's going to cost an extraordinary amount of money, and it's also going to take time. And I, I don't know. It's just an option. I mean, that I we want will to deposit. We will eventually need an extra person from here in order to go into the labs right it's true it's true very true so the two things we need one thing we need before the end of this year uh actually we don't need it before the end of this year we can get the extra person in here next year yep yep okay. would we even have the money to because that delivers and then this is 15 so we can't afford it ah such a shame that's such a shame zero asteroids by the way apart from one piddly little one on the uh, on the outskirts of town mm -hmm. very lame very very lame not where we want to be at least you know we've got one struggling so far and all of this is kind of like self-contained as well and they're all accessible from the other side as well so I, I like this as the basis for the system there's no way that we can actually get that lab between the two planets on the black hole side, is there? I know that it might be a little bit too far to unwind. I'm just sort of thinking, if we were able to path the lower mine planet up to... It's a hard no. That's a real shame, actually, because if we were able to path that mine planet up to the Forge World, it would give us the output of... Uh... No, that's, uh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Yeah. That's a shame. It, it this this is the only position for it, unfortunately. Yeah. I'm gonna try and get it as close there as possible. Yeah, because I was I was thinking if we could if we could path the mine planet up to up to the forge world, it would give it the output, which means that when we do eventually link up the water, it'll be a little bit of an easier easier planet to successful. So I guess that, but, sure, but also this is producing ore. It doesn't have to be a mine planet. It just has to be a mineral producing planet. So this remnant planet it's could true. be our target, and that could. It's true, but how do how, how do we get water into the remnant planet though? Exactly right. That would have to come from the swamp. Uh, not the swamp. Sorry. Uh, from yeah. the. Um, I, I don't think there is a way. That that's the that's the point that I'm trying to make. The only place that can that can get water is that lower mine planet from the thawing facility or the jungle world down to the down to the bottom west there. It's a toughie. It's a toughie. This could it's give us toughie. water for a person, but then we have to find more wheat for this. But the, also, the person for this can't go up there because then it'd have to go there as well. And then we mm -hmm. have to find new people for here. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, yeah, I see, I it's, see the problem. It, yeah, it's suboptimal in the... In the extreme. It's... At the end of the day, it's it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. The reason that it's not the end of the world is because there is probably going to be multiple other ore planets that we're going to be able to connect up. I just do not think that... It's, well, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to successful either of these planets. The, the ore production planets, that's for sure. Yep. Um, but that's okay. That's completely fine. Right, yeah, so what are you thinking about the goods factory? I mean, we could get the goods factory up and running now, and that's probably going to give us extra money, I presume. It does. It fixed that income. deficit. We had negative two income, and now we're back to normal income. We're still okay. making no income, which is, <laughs> well, you know. It's the trade-off for, trade for, for putting an early lab down, you know? That's the... So that's it what is. it is. As soon as this connects to Kronos, we are going to be making, like, printing money because that's 25% extra income for anything receiving that. Right? Right? We're no cowards. We 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 like luxury. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Man, that's, that's, that's a tricky one, though. I mean, biomass is, is on... 
is is not doable. Undoable? It's not doable. Unless we get... I... Even that's a, an unhelpful scan because it's too far away to actually... Oh, we, we're not going to be able to connect anything this year. I think this yeah. year we're done with building. Maybe we just try and get a good scout out because this scout could give us more information about, you know, how we get the, uh, the excess biomass for this. Possibly give us a bit more information about maybe people. So if this people does need to go somewhere else or maybe we also just start a new system. Because we are going to need a two-way trade for the Euphorian to go through, and none of these are two-way trades. True. Not even this. It's very true. It's very true. It's very true. You want to just go Man. for a scout? Yeah, you just go for a scout. Wipe it down. Go for a scout. Wipe it down. Mm, that sucks. We uh, can take okay. an asteroid for six income at least, though. Uh, it's not enough to connect I... these 15. That's a shame. What's the... That's an arid planet. Is that just a colony that we can wipe down on that? I hate that. Why is it that arid planets are so garbage? Come on. Come on. They're really unfortunate. Come on. F flipping June. They set a whole... They set a whole uh, sci-fi franchise on an arid type planet. And all we can stick down is a colony? Mm -hmm. Lame. It wasn't good for anyone involved in that either. I mean, it was... Paul, uh, Paul Atreides, Atreides, he, he did a fairly good job of uh, managing the colony. Fair. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty hyped for the Dune movie, I gotta be honest. I, big, honestly, big for me, pog. it would just be because I really like the director, Dennis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it Villanueva? Yeah. Uh, I've never actually had to pronounce his last name out loud. <laughs> <laughs> I think we skip. I think we skip this. I think this is okay. Yeah, don't spend the money on it. But we've, we've got yeah. no income, so, like, not spending What's money. What's the point? Exactly. But, like, what are we, we going to do next year? <laughs> okay. I kind of feel... Do we... Okay. Do we legitimately colonize a planet to just get the benefit from the asteroid? How much does it cost to, to take a Forge World? Eight. Eight. Oh, come on, video game. Come on. Everything's eight. <laughs> oh. Wow. This... I mean, that's gonna get... This is special. I mean, like, we will have science incoming at the absolute least. That doesn't solve anything, though, if we don't have money, right? Yep. It's a shame, because we are literally a single credit away from making this whole thing pop off with mm -hmm. just that goods connection. It's just that goods connection. Is there anything that we can do to get that goods connection going? Hmm. Absolutely nothing I can think of. I mean, technology? Deep drilling's not going to do it. Xenotourism's not going to do it. The brain machine interface, nothing successful would, or better. So that's not going to do anything yet. Yeah. Geothermals, that would cost us money in order to set up. Mineral seeding, wave. Yeah. Well, wave augmentation would get us there, right? Maximum range of slipways increased by 30%. But would then it? we. Rem I don't. Yeah. Oh, sorry. No. Would yeah, it? right. It's not the range problem, it's, it's money. It's the, it's the money problem, yeah. Um, okay, here's another idea. Mm -hmm. Are there any scans that could conceivably yield asteroids? Because, I mean, we just need to find one more asteroid, right? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's gambling uh, very hard, but, like... I mean, I guess if that was an asteroid, maybe, but it's a high likelihood of discovering a planet, everything else is too far. We actually may nothing be else locked we... out. I know that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, we can definitely take that asteroid to the right, okay? Like that yes. that asteroid there. I mean, why don't we just take it? Because let's be real, like there's nothing else that we can do. Okay, uh, that gives us thirteen. Oh, that that's so irritating, Raps. That's yeah. so unbelievably irritating. Yep. I mean, can we colonize? If we colonize a world, if we colonize a world, is there any way that we can make it profitable? I don't think there is. What if we colonize that ocean world down there? Nope, that's not. That's 
probably not going to yield us anything. Not really. What no. about what about thawing facility into mine? Six, six. That's that's so cursed. That's so <laughs> legitimately cursed. Uh. Oh. Are we so efficient that we bricked it? Is that is that what we've done here? I mean, we can always take okay. We can always take a colony on the arid world on either of the arid worlds actually, and claim that asteroid. Mm. But that's that's diminishing returns of effectiveness. Um. Yeah, exactly. We'll be getting a negative two, oh, and then also we'll be paying I, more money. Yo. I have an idea. Oh. I have an idea. Okay, so so down at the bottom, there's two planets. There's two planets down at the bottom. Remnant world and a something. Can we get a little one-two combo over there to manufacture anything? Just to give us a little bit of extra cash. At this point, it's about survival. We can't colonize both of them. We can't afford okay. to. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, this is a... Uh... <laughs> This is a situation. This is a situation. Oh my god. We it's, you know what have actually you bricked know it. You know what's so frustrating is that we mm. are literally one single bit of cash away from making this whole thing work. Yep. One single dollar. It's it's two, isn't it? Right? 13, 15? Well, I, it would be that, but even if we were able to get the thawing facility up and running, I think that would still that would still at least give us positive cash, if I'm not mistaken. Or mm -hmm. maybe I am mistaken, and maybe I'm just optimistic. Hmm. God, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Because <laughs> we can make one connection. We can make one connection, but that's that's about it. Yeah, this, I mean, uh, even, what, this might what have about to be a new galaxy. What about colonizing an ocean world? What about that that ocean world down there? I mean, can we robots into wheat? Humans into water? No, it's not even. I yeah, don't even have any spare humans. We've got an income now. Of one. Of two. Of two. Okay. Well, that's great. Okay. All right. See, we we <laughs> haven't bricked it. We we're still in the game. This is actually completely okay. This is actually completely fine. Actually, completely fine. It torpedoes our problem. It torpedoes our future strategy, though. Like it absolutely decimates the plan that we had for the future yep. to fix our financial problems. Um, it's also going to take us a long time to be able to do anything. We're going to have to pass a few years. <laughs> I mean, we're waiting for a few years anyway to pass. I like to justify. Just double click that fast forward button. <laughs> oh no, I undid. Oh, okay. Just I mean, see if there's anything I, else? I don't think there's any. I don't think there's any other option. I mean, the only other options are scanning, but then scanning has the potential to seriously lock us out of any modicum of success. Mm -hmm. I think you're right. I think that is our only option. I'm just, just salty, just salty yeah. about it. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. Well, let's go to the next year and see if uh, that brings us any change here. And maybe the year after that, and maybe the year after that, and maybe the year after that. Honestly. Deep drilling is up. That's worthless. I think. I mean, do we change the strategy? Do we maybe do we maybe go down the road of uh, something other than xenotourism now? I think what we've just been shown is money is... It, uh, we need money. money What's the upkeep for the lab? Uh, what are we what are we paying for this five. lab? That is a that is a significant problem. Mm -hmm. I you know what I actually feel like the real issue is that we haven't. I think no, the issue no is way we to put go... the lab down too quickly. Like yeah, yeah, if if we had the two extra gold and this was gonna work, everything would have been fine. But yeah, without that two extra gold, the lab needed to be down just slightly later. Yeah, I think you're I think you're right. I think you're right. I guess we gotta go. We gotta go forward. Then we gotta keep. We gotta keep pressing on into the great unknown until we have enough cash to to make that goods connection. 
Certainly seems it. Great machine interface. No, nothing successful yet. We will have a successful planet as soon as we have 15 bucks, which is by my approximation. <laughs> we, did we did it! it! Hooray! What's our income now? What, what is Eight. that? What's that income? Even that's pretty. Even that's pretty meh. I was kind of expecting a little bit more, uh, a little bit more spice there, but that's that's okay. Mm-hmm. As was I, unfortunately. I'm, we've got some tech. We've got some tech here. We do. We can. Uh, we can go for. What? I mean, we could go machine interface if we just want to try and get money out of that planet exclusively, but. Xenatorism is Maybe. going to require us finding another planet down in this area to start building on. I think machine. I actually think maybe machine brain interface is what we're after. I, I, I mean, I'm just thinking we're ten years in. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about trying to optimize for a small empire. I'm thinking about trying to optimize for happiness. I'm, I'm trying to think about, you know, working with what we've got. Mineral seeding, perhaps. Brain machine interface. Brain Machine Interface is also still going to cost us 20 to put it down here. True, but it will make it back over like four years or whatever. Exactly, but it's going to take us uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, four years to get to it. <laughs> Three years to get to it. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. And then in that year, we're only going to be able to build one, <laughs> one thing <Yeah>. again. <laughs> uh, All right. I mean, <sighs> Can't even next year, I guess. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we're one short of even getting the forebear ruin. We can't even do anything what? with the forebear ruin. No. Uh, the, the fact that we have been one, so one close. coin short the whole freaking time. Ah. Uh. Yeah, you know what? At this point, let's just gamble. Let's just double down. Let's just double down on the fact that we... Oh. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> really? Really? All right, Orbital, there's a, there's a pro strategy that I didn't want to deploy this soon in the series, but it does exist. Uh -huh. Now, um, if you hit ESC, you have the ability to exit to the main menu and try a new run. I think honestly, that's the only salvation that we are going to be able to that we're going to be able to get from this. We are kind of hard bricked right now, is the thing. It's it's just it's tough. I guess this is why they call it tough mode. Yeah, no kidding. We found it. Can't, it's tough. I can't believe it. You want to you want to go for a the same sort of strat? Uh, I don't think we can. We don't have access to the same nope. things. Wow, we've not got you're right. We've not got anything over there. What we do have is gravitic tugs, though. If yeah, we, that's pretty pog. If we make money, we can rearrange the galaxy. Wait, sorry. If we make money? Yeah. If. It's going to be. If we make if. money. Sorry, when we make money. That's right. There. Okay, no xenotourism. No xenotourism there. What else? What else? I mean, what other perks do we have that could make us make us cash so planets receiving <laughs> maybe we were too yeah. bold possibly uh planets receiving yes. the goods have 25 percent more income and there's also planets receiving the uh energy has production increased by one unit and 30 percent more income although we don't yeah we don't have access to the geothermals over here so we would have to wait for solars to even yeah use i still think that's okay to take to be honest I think it's a, it's a good perk. What else? What we got going on? Labs. Just a bunch of research we could possibly get at the very start. Not necessarily going to be that great for us. Because we haven't got any really, really cheap things that we're trying to research here, we can put down a lab much later, which I think is going to save yeah. us a lot of energy. Uh, sorry, money problems in the early game. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I, I, I don't know. I'm pairing with these two because this guy cares a lot about things like goods and a lot of the things that come out of Forge Worlds. And this person cares a lot about Forge Worlds and robots and stuff like that as well. I, I find Silk yeah. pairs very well often with these two. So this is the same team we ran previous, just a different 
set up for them. There we go. Yeah, let's just pretend like this is the, the first run of the day. Mm -hmm. Let's pretend this is the first run of the day. My name I is mean, Rhapsody. His name is Orbital Potato, and welcome back to Slipways. Man, Rhapsody, it's been such a long time. I am so looking forward to just getting down and playing some Slipways for you. Honestly, let's just jump into the game. I love the team that we've got. This is this is gonna be this is gonna be fantastic. We're gonna do great. I'm super enthusiastic about our prospects, mm -hmm. and I'm super excited to play some Slipways with you. I could not agree more. I, uh, I've i been playing this a lot in my own time, winning every single one of my runs. There's um, absolutely no... <laughs> I, I've had no difficulties whatsoever. They need to make tough tougher, in my opinion. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> little little do you know, ladies and gentlemen, we, we only curate the best episodes. We actually record them, um, like, I don't know. How many episodes have we recorded now? What, like 20, 25, and only what, four have made it to, to, to print? Yeah, exactly. Those, we're, we're spending all day, every day, just 24 hours recording slipways. And so far, two, three, sorry, have actually made it to the channel. So, um... Right? And you know what the, the crazy thing is? This is actually a post commentary. So you know that it turns out okay, because mm -hmm. we're here talking about it. And we've decided to publish this one. Excellent. That's that's a good point well I made. Really, Unfortunately, it is a spoiler as well, so I'm going to have to excise that from the episode. <laughs> I really like that move that you made in the past, Rapsky. That was a that was a great scan that you did. Uh, whenever Thank we you. Recorded. I thought it was good at the time as well. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I mean, that's uh, juicy. This this would be new information uh, at the time that I learned. <laughs> it. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. Actually, we just pretend like. This is just a post commentary from now on. I think mean, I, 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 that's fantastic. That that is the lore of the the Rhapsody channel has been for a long time. It's true. That's true. That that weekly one off. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> the weekly once with, off, as I like to call it now. The weekly once off. That's ten k Q and A. Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even right. uh, what hold up your head face reveal anymore. That's true. It's true, actually. That's true. So we got a couple things down here. We've got a colony that will take in all. We have a mine directly next to it. So we have the ability to utilize that for both the Forge Worlds as well as a nanotech factory. Mm -hmm. um, this will be a two-way trade as well because we'll have a person going back to the mine themselves. Unfortunately, we would have to find access to wheat, which yep. I have not found adjacent. There's an Arctic farm, but that's going to be too far. Is that a four banger to the west north? That's right. It is. West north. There are lower chances and they're separated from a lot of other things. So I think it's going to be really difficult for us to, out of this, create a system. So maybe we just yeah, save looks, that yeah. money and set up a system here that has like decent income. Yeah, let's 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 optimize for cash this time. Uh, you know, in in the last uh fake episode uh mm -hmm. we optimized for happiness that was the wrong thing to do that you know what look never optimize for happiness in slipways or in life optimize mm -hmm. for cash yeah. that's what it's that's what it's got to be optimize we will for be cash a that's brutal, where we went wrong brutal empire correct absolutely cash only only cash mm. i don't even want to hear the word happiness i don't even know what it means <laughs> exactly oh, i've never heard it before in my life <laughs> that's an unfortunate thing <laughs> um i mean god that that lack of wheat is disturbing it is it really is if we had any wheat access down here we would be in a much better position just anything that could reach the ocean i mean that could probably reach maybe we do just check this four banger just in case that's what i was thinking that's what i was thinking it could be a wheat world and we could be I think Spot that is a wheat world. On. Okay. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take the reins here and set up something that I think is gonna be a good idea for us. Actually, let's just connect those two before the end of the year. And then not collect that. Okay, so because I would be tripping over the new year and in my world I would probably try and Oh, is that a six pack is that a sixer? Excuse oh me. excuse me? Oh my one God, thing they that really are exactly frustrates me. One pixel mutually exclusive there. One thing that really oh, frustrates no. me is that the scan I don't think always goes for like max distance. Like just make it a consistent circle. Like I don't need to 
I don't need to to find a pixel in order to in order to scan like an extra three planets. Just just give me the big circle. Come yeah, on. it's it's got a bit of a like a pulsing mini game. It's it's kind of like a fishing mini game a little bit. Right, <laughs> right. It's timing, but yes, I can actually get the six there. I had it just a second ago, I, so I know it's yeah. Um, I, I saw that. That's that's good. So I okay. would I would now send that out so that we don't get a new planet's upkeep before the year passes through, and then I would make this into bot makes wheat that feeds in here, mm -hmm. and then people make bots feed out, feed up. We have a system where everything is not struggling. We have some income. We have some excess have goods. Excuse me, goods into. Okay. And then uh, forge world goods and uh, or into goods into the world successful planet. Boom. Yep. I think we I think we just do that. I think we just do that. Um, and I think we do that as soon as possible. In fact, is it worth? Is it worth? That's actually okay. I no, I actually legitimately think that's okay. I think that's that's fine. Uh huh. Ooh. Ocean planet to successful. Pog ease. Yes. Extremely yes. easy. This one down here, we're about to make two bots with this because we're going to fulfill its income and its outgoing. So that's two bots already. It's just, are we going to make bots here as well? It's possible those bots could make uh, wheat, which could be important up here. We need the, we need that Forge World to be a good planet though, because we've got luxury. Right. You're right. You're right. You're right. And, and for the, yeah. And for successfully in the ocean. Well, I mean, we, we have a plan to get two of these complete. We don't have a plan for getting two of these complete. So if we think we're getting it's two true. robots it's before we're getting four minerals, we go for Silphid. I think you're I think you're right. And to be honest, I'm just looking at the I'm looking at the other planets that we've got. I don't see any other mineral planets that immediately strike me as, oh, this is a fantastic planet. And yet we've got two remnants, think, so And and yet we've got two remnants. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I think you I think you're right. Okay, and then I'm just gonna Okay. Could you, yeah, try that. And then wait, before doing the scavenger world, it was fine. I was just going to say, maybe try try doing it in a way which worst case scenario, we have the goods connected into the ocean world anyway, so that we have, so that we successful the planet first and we get the, the core trade routes that are making us money in the first instance. Irritating, yeah. irritating indeed. Actually, is there a way without an export here? Is there a way that we can not connect up the mineral world and instead connect up the scavenger world? So connect the goods into the ocean worlds and then connect up the output from the ocean world. I think is that the way that we get most money? I'm just trying to think of like how we get uh, how we get the most money here. So that would be that, and then yep, that the good spec connect yep. and then connect, yep. What does that give us? Is that more income than we got last time? Uh, I don't know. Should we go back and do it the other way and check? Yeah, I think I think that would be. Okay. That income would be is astute. eleven at the moment, and then if we connect these, it's fourteen. But that's because I haven't colonized another planet. As soon as I colonize after a planet, that's going to be three planet in uh, upkeep cost, and that's going to be same. Okay, all right. So, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter then. Uh, that, that. And then this one was bots, yes. Bots, yeah. That's looking good. Successful the planet. Move on to next year. That's good. I mean, this is this is good. What's what's our income now? 21. 20? That's a pretty significant chunk of change. How many planets is it until we bump up to the next administrative tier? Good point. Three, three more planets will be. Oh, that's to us. that's plenty. That's plenty. That's plenty of space to expand. So we have a, an asteroid right there, which is going to be a twelve banger whenever we want to pick that up. Mm -hmm. That's real good. Could even be an real eighteen because Earth, like up here, is probably going to be a relatively soon claimed one for us. I sincerely like that. That'll Actually, yeah. that'll take in wheat and make goods. Uh, this wheat cannot reach. But tugs. Tugs, 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 tugs. Mm. At some points. Okay. Well, if if we're leaving this until we tug it, right? We we'd be tugging it like down here, and then we in. Then we've got like an excess of people in this area, so we've got like a bunch of people up here and a bunch of people down here. We would have to find ways to utilize them. Yeah. Also, I'm just trying to think like labs. Where where do we whap down a lab? Is there is there a way that we could use robots 
in a lab. Mm, I like the idea. Because that, that would be brilliant. I mean, maybe that, yeah, maybe that three banger down there would be, would be astute. Um, we can get a lot of extra, well, a lot. We can get some extra money by sending this robot down here and then sending that wheat back up in this direction. This is also going to need another import or export. Well, I, I, it's going to export a person. Okay, never mind. We don't need to import another thing into that. That would just be yeah. money for nothing. Yeah. Giving away just, our robots <sighs> for free. Hmm. So what's our what's our tech then? What are we looking to take right now? What's our what's the tech? So gravitic tugs, it's gonna cost twenty every time we want to move something a reasonable amount. So yeah. it may not be the first thing we want to go for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um reduces planet in reduces planet upkeep by one might actually be huge. Yeah. What's our planetary upkeep at the moment? Uh uh nine. Nine across five, right? So that would basically reduce, would basically have our our planetary upkeep at the moment. Mm -hmm. That's it's pretty big, actually. Also, the brain machine interface, which we could just use here and like try and print money on this planet. It's also got luxury as well, so it's just yeah. another modifier or another multiplier on top of that. Yeah, yep, yeah, that's also good. That's also good. And then the top is gene rewriting, turning bots into, uh, sorry, uh, biomass into bots rather. I don't like it. I really don't like gene rewriting, but maybe that's just me. No, I, I agree. I'm on the same side. I mean, that arid world right there, uh, right? Uh, sorry, not no, not arid, Arctic, actually. Uh, that's a half a filled colony. We just need biomass, which you can actually get from the jungle world, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just sort of thinking if there's any way that we can maybe create another couple of loops out of out of uh, out of nowhere. Jungle world to the I mean, south. Uh, for thawing the, for facility biomass. could just connect these two, right? And oh, then that's this is brilliant! Import, export, actually, and this becomes successful, and it gets us another robot for the uh, for the mission. But we only get three, so we'd need another another one, unfortunately. Yes. I mean, that popping successful, like, let's actually have a look. Like, 21 is our income at the moment, and then 28. That's huge. I think we should just do that. Okay. I think you're right. I mean, we're not going to use it for anything else, right? Mm hmm We are so close to prospering this area, actually. I know that sounds crazy to say, but we are actually legitimately very close. You're 100% right, right? We'd only need two more successful adjacencies. If this is one of them, then this is also going to have another successful adjacency. This is going to be right. a little lacking in input, output, uh, sorry, input, output. Like, we could Labs, use a though, very expensive we... lab. So, yeah. Uh, that's actually not even going to be able to sit there. So to sit here, take an input from each of these. This could pop prosperous. This could get close. This needs another bot input as well. Which can be done from the remnant, yeah. And that would pop our uh, sylph admission as well. That's what I was thinking. I was, I was thinking that, but I don't. There is no game plan to to provide humans to that area of the galaxy yet. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't think, which is what worries me about it. Yeah, they would be struggling for a bit. I, I kind of like the idea of pushing up to the northeast as well. I mean, that colony. The colony on that Earth-like? I think it's an Earth-like. Yeah, maybe a scan and then and then colonizing Earth-like. Because, I mean, we've got goods that are waiting to go there. I mean, if we can successful from oh. the other... Wow. Okay, that's... Incredibly rough, actually. Yeah, no. Oh, man. Not keen on that one. So this um, could be a colony as well. We've got a wheat that could feed into that. So if we wanted, we could try and mm -hmm. scout for water sources up here. There's a three banger. There's another two banger over here, I think. Yeah. Actually, there's not even a two banger over there. I can't get that distant one. I think the three banger up to the north is 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 a good is a good shout. That's good. That's that's really good. That's really good. And is that within range of the remnant worlds? The remnant world that we were going to assemble robots on. 100%. Oh, this one? Yeah. Uh, it, it, The forebear's going to be in the way. Ah. Uh, yeah. Forebear's in the way. And it's out of range. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. But there are good planets up there. Yeah. We got it. We got our, our, 
I th okay, so I think colonizing, I think colonizing robots is is good there. Uh, the one problem is biomass. We need biomass for that wheat world in order to successful it. Mm -hmm. Actually, that would be yeah. We need we either here, probably we either need biomass to successful or we need microchips to successful the forge world in order to prosperous the OG ocean world. I think by my calculations. Yes. Yeah, this this forge world could easily be part of the uh, part of the the, the, the successful. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And we don't have mineral seeding, so there's no way that we can utilize that lava planet in the middle there. How about we just pop down a because if we're going to make a lab with just a person and a robot anyway, it's going to cost us five of our income, but we'll have a lab out. We'll have some income in terms of science. And then we have another impetus to try. Well, hmm, no. What are, that, that swamp world, could that become a colony? Swamp world. Down at the south, the very south there. Um, no. Well, not without, not without causing issues. Yeah, it's a lot of effort. We okay, could, what about... We could get a recycling operation here... Well, sorry, not recycling, scavenger world here, and then study a person and two bots, connecting them, like, around here. I actually think that that might legitimately be the best play. We can't do what it about... before the end of the year, though, so we don't pop the asteroid to try and do it. Sorry, what about? What about that very south, there's, like, a two-banger, I think. There's a two-banger right there. I feel like we, we do that pop the asteroids, and then progress to the next year. Uh, I don't think that's super helpful. All right, and then set up the lab? I think that's, I think that's the play. I think that's the play. There we go. Okay. Oh. Hang on. I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. Unconnect that. Check the mission just yeah, in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Here's okay. The interesting thing does not sound bad. Interesting thing is, yeah, that that's a tough one to 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 do because you have to really think about the trades that you're making. But it's mm -hmm. not by any means impossible, to be honest. Like very, very possible. I, weirdly, I think that the Silphid mission to increase microchip production is maybe not necessarily a good thing to do, but it's something that we need to do anyway. Yes. Because we need to get microchips up and running just in general. Um, so maybe it also gives us science, which I love. I love missions that, that give science. Remnant, Remnant world up at the very top. Can that supply microchips to the forge world or is that a little smidgen too far? Can do it. That, I mean, that could be supplied by the colony that we're going to make on the arid world just to the north of the lava planet. Yeah. Yeah, so good. Then we'll try and find like a water resource up here. Yeah, I think that's I think that's game plan actually. So then it just comes down to like do we want to discover eight new planets or establish four or more pairs with two-way trades between them? Are we going to be getting any two-way trade in the immediate future? In the immediate future, no. Are we going to be getting four two-way trades before we discover eight new planets? Probably also no. That's true. That's true. I think bottom two is... Let's be ambitious here. Let's be ambitious. Let's be bold. <laughs> oh, no. I, I have a sense memory of this. <laughs> uh, can that ocean world actually connect to the remnant world? The, the extra person there. And sorry, not that one. The... Uh, 21. Oh. Shame, 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 shame. I, I do like how you dragged it the, in the other direction just to check if it was in range one way and yeah, exactly. It might the be other way. Uphill one way, downhill the other way, you know. <laughs> I don't know how it works. I'm not a space man. <laughs> uh, okay, I mean, look, we got good income. I, I think that we should be we should be happy skipping to the next year. Like this is this is okay. I think. Hey, so wait, the person could come from Earth. Right, we could use Hive World here, so we'll just be floating a wheat. Person comes from Earth, uh -huh. and then the person also goes up to here for the Remnant. The Remnant gives the uh, the microchip down. We get 
three? How many microchips will we have funded out of that? We'll have two of the microchips funded out of that. If we can find yeah. a way to put in water, that'll that'll be like a, a future look. But actually, I, I really just want to get to the next year so I can colonize this and see how many planets are around it in the fog of war. Good call. Good call. Yeah, I think I think that's a good play. I don't think there's anything else that needs to be done this year at Ooh. all. That's juicy. That's really, really, really juicy. Also, what, what does our income go to when, when we colonize that planet? Because I <laughs> noticed that that is the one. <laughs> yeah. It's halved. It's, it's halved. halved. That's that's okay. How many turns are we away from planetary administration or whatever the tech is that uh, gives us the reduced upkeep? That would be gene adjustment. We are four, three, three turns from it now. Three years, rather. Okay. Here's an idea. Mm -hmm. What if we straight up just skip another year? Before we colonize so that we get the yeah. fledgling size? I like it, actually. I like yeah. it a lot. I, yeah, I, I actually think that that might not necessarily be the worst play in the world. And then we do the the exact idea that you just you just posited, uh, the hive world, the scavenger world, the cache to connect them both, and then, oh really, uh, asteroid, asteroid right there in the middle, of the two, yeah, perfect, and then boom. So what's our cache? Uh, really, mm -hmm. really, really. Really? You know what we could do? Skip another Skip year? Skip one more year <laughs> before we do it, yeah. I, th I think that's completely fair. Like, I think that this is this is fine. Because we're just... We're literally just hurting ourselves by not having the funds in place to... to make it work. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's good. Do you want to pop this asteroid? It's next to the Arid, which is going to be really, really hard to fund. Well, is it? Because this is going to need water, and this only needs water if we're actually going to be able to get the... Oh, we have a Thaw, we have a thaw, a thaw facility up to the top there. That, that's what I was kind of assuming it's we would... just uh... out of range to fund this with oh, water. Oh, so... sorry. I was thinking of funding the colony with water, if that makes sense. Yeah, sorry. I was, I was trying to think of um, something that had the ability to fund both of these with it. Because if we were making a water source, if it can be going to both of these, that would be more efficient. Yeah. I was purely thinking in terms of popping asteroids, because it would be nice to pop that 12 banger right now, but it could be an 18 banger so easily. It could do. Uh, but in we... saying that, you know, actually, I think we pop the asteroid. I think we pop the asteroid right now. I think that's, I think that's the play. So, four, four. We just need to four. find. We need to find wheat for that. Uh, for that. For that ocean world. Uh, mm -hmm. That Earth light, don't we? So four there. Try, yeah, try scanning that that little four group there because that's the closest proximity to. Perfect. That's it. That's what that's it. Wheat? Beautiful. Yeah, I think we make that happen as soon as we reasonably what makes can. Double wheat. The reason being is that if we export that good, then we prosperous. Oh no, we don't actually prosperous the the home world. We're we're one biomass away, or we're. A little bit of water away. We still need to get a third successful planet to trade with uh, with Hawksley. Hmm. Okay. So none of those will accept. I'm trying to see if any of these are going to take a micro. Ooh, this will take microchip, but it also needs wheat. Um, I mean, bot makes double wheat. Wheat, wheat. This takes microchip. We can't connect that anymore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Slip ways. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I mean... <sighs> Check up to the north, I think. <laughs> okay, all right. If... if, if uh... New tech is Oh, available. actually, hold... We have the gene adjustment now. I think that's the play, to be honest. I think that is legitimately the play. Or, here's another idea. Mm -hmm. Here's another idea. Uh, we have wave augmentation, right? You complained about the fact that we can't stretch water all the way across the top of the, the, top of the map from the Arctic the Arctic thawing facility to the remnant worlds. Yep. We can if we get extra range. Uh 29 is almost 50% extra range. Wave augmentation is 
Because maximum you range make, is 20. Does it not increase exponentially after the the max? I mean, if you if you drag if you drag out a line of 20, just for uh, hypothetical purposes, you look at that. And then... So that's like 100% range. And then the 30%, that right. can't be more than 30%. Okay, so th yeah, the cost is... Uh, the cost is non... Yeah, because yeah, that's all three. You're right, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, we yeah. can totally do that. I, I'm not saying that it's necessarily a great play, but it's certainly an option that gives us, gives us something. Gives us something to, to, to think about, mm -hmm. I think. You should well be calling it a great play. I think it's our, I think it's our in. I, I, I think the planetary upkeep is what we take now. I think maybe wave augmentation would be a decent second, but it depends on, so depends on what else we've got. I, I disagree for one reason, and that's Hit because this will make the colony, right? Because the thawing facility funds to both of those. This becomes a colony. It takes the income. This is going to be money, right? Nothing here is fledgling, uh, except for <laughs> this one up here, which is going to be a little bit fledgling for a while before we find a way to give the bot. We'll find a way to give the bot, what? and that's going to be okay. But we checked. We checked. Up, sorry, just to interject. We yes. checked up in the northwest, and there are plenty of planets there. So we've yeah. got to find a forge world or a remnant world. I'm not worried about that. That'll be all. totally fine, right? But then we have people from the Arid, people, the final people, in fact, from Huxley, and we have this export needing good. We could study a good here? Get three? Can we study goods? Can uh, we study no, goods? No, you can't study goods. That's right. You're right. Non wheats, wheats, wheats and goods. I hate. I hate wheats and I hate goods because you can't study them. Doesn't make any sense. We can Should do study, it. With the, you can um, study water. But we can do it with the microchip, the same plan. Yep. It's just this doesn't pop prosperous yep. as a result. Uh it can if it trades to the the wheat planet at the back. Yeah, and that only needs wheat in order to get that, right? But we wouldn't just Correct. do that just yet. I I mean I think this is a plan. Because this, okay. this will also, like, give us a heck of a lot of income to have these all set up. The problem is money. Hmm. It is. It is. Uh, to which I posit that we may need to skip a year. <laughs> hey, we need to skip a year anyway in order to be able to actually yeah. get the wave augmentation online yeah. so we can start it. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Okay, I mean, you know what? What's the worst that can happen? I mean... At least trialing it out, like, skipping to the next year, doing the thawing facility, getting it all set up, I think is... is it's 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 definitely worth a shot, right? Mm-hmm. Also, on. we have yeah we ha we also do, do just you... have the ability to go gravitic tugs and just move it in. That's al almost the same thought at the same time. Mm. Okay, here's a play: gravitic tugs move the thawing facility in, move it in, and uh, like move it as far in as possible. Yep. Then we colonize the thawing facility and the and the colony, we pop both of the asteroids and then we connect up the planets because it'll be a double 12, presumably, Beautiful. at that point. Let's have a look at this. Oh, that's such a great... Oh, that's so good. That's so good, dude. <laughs> that's so incredible. I love it. I've never seen that before. That's that's brand new to me. Great plan. Oh, it's, okay, that's not going to get both of them. This one will, at least. You <laughs> can move them. Oh, that's probably not going to be useful. Okay, hold up. Undo. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Undo that, and then see if you can move the asteroids into like the central area that we have clustered a whole bunch of colonies around. Straight up, just undo the undo the yeah the initial move, and then see if we can just like move asteroids through slipstreams into the the heat of the action, like any of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please. Oh, that was very disappointing. Um, Are there any? I don't know if any of these will give us dividend for... Yeah. Close as well. That's a shame. I don't know if any of them can move far enough to actually give us an income as a result. I mean, there might be like a level 2 upgrade, which is increase... Uh, Gravitic tug range. Oh, there definitely is. Uh, inertial modifier, uh, nullifiers increase maximum tow distance by 150. It is a second level <laughs> tech though, so we're one more tech and then the upgrade away from it. So I think we just yeah, send but... what we currently have. 
I, I agree. I agree. But, dude, could you... You think about how cheesy it would be to move every asteroid into the center of, uh, the center of our turf? Uh, take a... Take a... Yeah. And then goods. Can we make... Can we make the goods connection? Uh, there are... There are three asteroids that are that are looking juicy, which I think maybe we just take, or two asteroids that are looking juicy, I should say. We're gonna be colonizing up there. Let's take. Maybe no, we're gonna be colonizing all of these actually. We're in November, but this this That's is true. also good income if we can get it this year. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'd taken one is is okay. So what is this? Yeah, what does this shoot our income up by? Twenty to twenty four. I think that's worth. I think that's worth. I think you're right. And finding this this dual way trade, that's uh, still problematic. Uh, not not that one, right? Yeah, that one. That's nice, but I mean, it doesn't really do much for us. That connection right now. Well, it's it's three income, which like this was full. It's true, but I mean, the, the capital expenditure to build that line is what, like 19 or something? 20. 20. Uh, yeah, I'm just thinking if there's like more that we can, if there's more we can do with that money this year to secure a better income. Like gotcha. fixing the, the wheat demands on the on the wheat planet, maybe? I, I, I don't know. Good question. Uh, we have a couple different ways of getting wheat out here. We have the aggro worlds. Uh, that's colony. So we probably want one of these side ones making it so that we don't end up crossing the stream right here and just like bisecting the kind of galaxy. Yeah, I think wetland farm is maybe the play, maybe. On the, yes. on the swamp there. It's not like we need a huge amount of wheat. Yeah, and we'll definitely be able to get that connection and maybe actually the other goods connection as well. Mm. Hang is on. That oh. If we move this... That wet that we can get the bot from here, from the wetlands farm already. Okay, I mean let's let's do it. It is gonna wipe out our cash a little bit, but it, I it, think make it worth. It will. So I think we do that next year and instead make this connection. Or maybe no. You're right. You're right. Let's move it. I love I love this mechanic. This is <laughs> such a this is such a hype mechanic actually. Neat as hell. We can uh, that, explode uh, that asteroid as soon as we pop it. Did that take time? Sorry to... Perhaps. Looks like it took a month. Yeah, one month to do. Interesting. Okay. All right. Okay, I think I still think moving is the, is the play here. Cool, cool. I'm, I'm conscious of the fact that we need more research as well. We are crying out for, for more research. Definitely, definitely <sighs> are. God, I mean, just like the... <sighs> The two colonies, right, that we have in the center of the world, it's so perfect for a, a research lab if only we produced something in that area. Literally anything. And we just can't. Because I'd love, I mean, I'd love to stick down a second lab in that little quadrangle. But. It's 14 on that connections. This is six. We can't even get that. We'd have to pop two asteroids to connect this in. I'm, because this we move this now, we still can't connect it in until next year. So we're just spending twenty to get nothing in response. Whereas here we're spending twenty yeah. to get three back. Yeah. So I, I think this is the priority, and then if we can also connect this, we're just getting another export. Requires at least two export. Yeah, we're getting one export route for this out. Um. We could even make, uh, well, that's a much later plan, but like make a lab to export from each of those. Try and get this to pop successful. It's taking a good, so yeah. it's not luxury. So as, as, like if we can get this to have like a good trade income, we can make money. Yeah. Yeah. So here for me, it would be pop both these asteroids. I know it's harsh, but pop them both, and then make this connection. Or at the very least, we can do that and see how much money it would give us. That's five income. <laughs> that's definitely worth it. That's actually definitely worth it. I mean, that's the value of an asteroid back, basically, yeah. just like that. 
I, you know what? I okay, a little bit of a pivot here. I know mm -hmm. that I said maybe focusing on the wheat in the in the eastern on the eastern front is is a priority. Sure. Maybe straight up getting biomass to that wheat production planet would be of greater benefit right now because that we get successful on that planet and we prosperous the ocean world. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be yeah, <laughs> straight up impossible. That's that's not possible. One. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we have a scan. We, that's how we do it. We have a scan. We have a scan, maybe maybe a, a scan up to the north or maybe down to the south as well. There's uh, there's a few planets around the south, but north is probably better. There's no four banger. Oh, it feels bad not to have a four banger. There's the south down here as well, but that doesn't achieve the aim that you're looking for. I, th I think we do. Oh, my God. The, the, the north here. That one, I guess. Yeah, I, th I think that's okay. I think that's okay. Literally anything that gives us biomass. Eh? Too far. That's a I mean, we could double tug. Big. Double tug or single tug once we have the, the level 2 tech. But boy, oh boy, oh boy, it sucks that we're... Seemingly so far from it, yeah. Yeah. Boy, this is a this is a toughie actually. Ain't it just? This is a toughie. That breeding program down there is very appealing, but unfortunately, <laughs> you'd have to tug it quite a lot, I think, in order to get it up to yeah. up to the tippity top over there. Alternatively, could do another explore next year out to the west, and then just hope that one of those planets to the south is maybe discoverable. But I, I yeah. I don't know. How much money I think, does yeah, it cost to yeah. set this up now? I think this is. I think this is still probably more valuable, actually. That can connect, right? Hang on. Yes, that can connect. So we'd have to wait a year to do this. I think that's okay. I think that's okay. I think that's fine. Kind of sucks, but. That's really good. That's really good. We're building. We're actually building quite a tight empire here. I think this is fine. That connection's gonna be. Is this? Hang on. Does this? It's one more export. Oh. It's not importing anything from that. So it needs still another export or an import adjacent. How's it gonna get that? The big sad. The big sad in all of this is that we haven't been able to find a a route that goes back and forth. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a two-way? Mm-hmm. Maybe we do just reduce the planet income. Uh, planet, in Yeah, reduce the planet income. No more planet income for us. Um, <laughs> Mabel's machine interfacing on planets that is successful or better improves their trade income. Maybe we do that and just... What we got? We've 13 years left? Start getting these to be successful... Well, I mean, they are already successful, right? Start getting these to be upgraded and then have our income break out to the point that we don't really need to worry about it anymore. Yeah, you know what I... You know the other sort of path to, to all of this is... Also, yes. Big yes. Big yes. Is it... Actually, is it possible to rewind time and input implement that earlier? Because, I mean, that's probably mm. very important to do. So, zero income. We can connect those two, but then that doesn't really need to be connected. Yeah, we can do that right now, I guess. Well, no. One off. Six. Okay, so without connecting those two, this doesn't have the ability to make the uh, But if I don't connect on. those two, I can get that there and then put that down there. Yeah, I think that's the play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, two more research. This year, yeah. still connect those for the income. That's definitely worth. That's definitely the the so play, the actually. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's far more efficient. Yeah. Right. Cool. And then we don't have any asteroids that we can exploit, so we have to pass in the next year in order to connect these two. That's fine. That's that's totally fine. That was a better. We we still end up skipping a year somewhere along the along the journey there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's looking really good. Okay, here's yeah. So my other my other alternative play was actually wave augmentation. 
with Gravidic Tugs and Wave Augmentation, it is going to cost an extraordinary amount of money. I appreciate that. However, the degree of flexibility that we'll be able to have is kind of huge in a really weird way. It's kind of like uh, Slipstreams, but without without having to take Slipstream tech. Mm -hmm. It's... If, if we had the money, if you were confident that we had the money, I, I think that this would be legitimately a huge play. Wave Augmentation plus Gravitic Tugs, the ability to move planets wherever we want, connect them up to wherever we want. So part of my uh, hesitation on that is just because mm -hmm. we have inertial mollifiers, which is actually cheaper than Wave Augmentation. So if we <laughs> go true. for like one of the cheaper ones here, which would be, you know, maybe brain, brain machine, machine interfaces... Yeah. Um, then inertial nullifier comes up relatively soon and we can focus on just using gravitic tugs to accomplish the same thing. Alternatively, gene yes. rewriting, biomass into uh, into robots uh, to do absolutely nothing. Uh, yeah, so we, except The inverse would be great. <laughs> I mean, there is a forge world up there that could take biomass from the primordial world and output robots maybe mm -hmm. and then i mean we have to it... find even more biomass up here Ocean yeah cause i think it's humans it. it's humans into biomass on the primordial isn't it if i'm not mistaken uh no it's oh uh, sorry it is humans into biomass you're right yeah i mean okay but the thing I mean, is after we machine. get like gravitic tugs upgrade inertial we can just like <sighs> put that down here and then just yeah doop, doop, we're done yeah we can uh right you're right let's let's go brain machine and then just Okay. Pog up all of our planets. Get pogged on. We should uh, have a look. Okay, trade income is 12 here. 10. 10. 8. Uh, and this is our final successful 8 also. So it, so costs, it costs 10. It costs 10, so... And it to improves get four it more to 16. Income. Yeah, so this this will pay for itself in you know, two and a half years. Two. Two and a half years. Which, We've got 13 more left, so I think that's definitely worthwhile. It's absolutely worth. I think it, it'll it'll make sense on pretty much every planet to. Yeah, I gotta be honest. I want to I wanna just pop it down on one of the tens as well, and then skip a year. Pop it down on the other two, and then skip one more year, because then we get to 11 science, which gives us the ability to take inertial modif uh, nullifiers, and then by then we'll mm -hmm. have a bunch of money. We move this down, and then we start we start fixing all the problems. Can we no, we can't move we can't move planets that already have connections, can we? No, unfortunately not. Shame. I is that an upgrade? Is it, do you reckon Switch. that's a uh, the, yeah, that allows you to uh no, move this planets unlock that already on. Ah, that's exactly shame. what I was looking for, just in case. Yeah. Okay, I, th I, I think, think you're right. Let's let's was, do the play. Yeah. It it would change the slipstreams a lot. Um, so we're looking for, yeah, that's one of the is there 10. Is there no, is there no other place that gives us more than 10? Like, what about the chip it's, facility up at the top? Well, it's, it's 8, 8, 10, 10, 12. Ah, okay, I, okay, I okay, okay. We go forward, and then you get machine interfaced. You best believe you get interfaced with. That's going into that face. There we go. The down, the downside to all of this. The downside to all of this is that if we do get a really spicy late game project, there's no way to undo all of the all of the uh, the brain machine interfacing. That's the downside, and and you know regardless of how much cash you have in the end game, it doesn't count towards your score. Mm -hmm. So so that's true. Yeah. However, we have nothing that I can see that is one. That's true. That's true. Unless it's an upgrade or part of an upgrade, but I doubt it. Mm -hmm. Hey, we've I also think, look, got at the end skill of the day. implants improves trade income by 25% on successful and prosperous planets. If we just... we, I think we've got something here. We just focus on popping prosperity on as many of these as possible. We go for mm -hmm. skill implants, mm -hmm. inertial nullifiers, and then later on hyperdrive so that we can try and fix some of the ones in the interim, uh, in the middle integrated, integrated manufacturing, though? Is that not what we wanted to get? Oh, you're right. You're right, aren't you? I mean, hyperdrive is probably not necessarily super important. It's also the most expensive, so we might legitimately not even be able to afford it. Mm -hmm. Inertial modifier or initial nullifiers is is the is the key. Like it's 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 what we need, and we got plenty of cash. We got plenty of cash coming in. I think Hang you're on. right. We prosperity. We focus on prosperity. 
Hang on. Wait. Successful or better requires six import exports. Two successful or better... One more successful or better requires six imports exports. So if we get a microchip facility right here, they fulfill both yep. of those. And if we make this one more export route, just anywhere, we pop Prosperous on both of these. Yeah, hell yeah. I mean, I'm very keen. Integrated manufacturing is good. <laughs> Lab? Yeah, that's... that's. Oh, wait, hold up. Integrated manufacturing isn't actually the same as uh, microforging. Yeah, no, I don't think we actually have microforging in this one. That but was the previous... Integrated manufacturing... Sorry, not the previous yeah. run. There was no previous run, just the ones you've seen on camera again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, edit that out in post-Rhapsody. That was a yep, bit sorry of a Freudian that. slip there. And then literally it's just... Wait pop. a year and then pop that there. Yeah. I think that's I think that's brilliant actually. I think that's really really good. So integrated manufacturing increases. Oh look at that! Oh my goodness gracious me! What did our income go from and what did it go to? <laughs> that's actually kind of funny. Fifty two to sixty. Brilliant. Left by eight. Inertial nullifiers also gives us the ability to start fixing this one down here, and we've got the money to start doing that as well. Yeah, I think having having the, the momentum behind us in terms of oh finance is so important. Look at him zooming! Hang on. Oh my is giddy that, ant. Is that enough? Oh. We can try that again. We, 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 we. We, we. We, we. Uh, we've got... Do we have wave augmentation? Yeah, no, we don't have wave augmentation, do we? That connects. That's fine. Doesn't matter. Dude, this is hype. This is hype. Okay, uh, watch our cash. What is it? What is it at at the moment? What is it at? At sixty. 64. It was at sixty, wasn't it? We will need to wait a year. Ah, oh, that's such a shame. No asteroids. Wait, hold up. Oh, hold up. Undo that. See if you can move the asteroid into a pog place. Yeah, this the southernmost asteroid. Can it go through slipstreams? Oh no! You. No, no, no. Okay, hold on. You can still. Um, <laughs> you can, what about moving it right under that remnant world? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like really tuck it, nestle it in there. Can. Uh, oh we come on! Spend come to on! Get Twelve. Oh, what a what a swizz! What a swizz! Indeed. Hey, this prop's successful as a result of it as well. So it's not bad. It's. It's still worth it. I, I, I agree. Um, yeah, then we skip here. Go this down here. I, yeah, as I say, you know, skipping in October is okay. Pops another prosperity down here. Yep, very good. Our income is... We're starting to escape the, the money <laughs> curve of the game. Good. Very good. Very, very, exciting. very good. Okay, I mean it's labs, right? We need to find we need to find an attractive place to put down more labs. It's it's just that simple. We need more of them, we need many of them, we need more science, we need to we need to make up for the fact that we had garbage science in the in the first stage of the game. Mm -hmm. Here's an idea. Maybe not even more labs. The lab at the bottom, can we either get a a remnant world in proximity to the Oh wow, that's actually that's actually probably worth that. Actually, that prosperity pop in probably pays for itself, I imagine. Especially if we machine interface there. Mm -hmm. Big pog. Yes. Yeah, beautiful. And then this... this is brilliant. This is this is incredible. It all works. It all makes sense. It was it's all financially responsible. I, I will say, yeah, so the rem is is there a remnant world that we could slot into position at the bottom? It would take two tugs or so to get there, but uh e Ooh. What about a little ex what about a little explore? What about a little explore to either the the southwest or the southeast? If we find a remnant world or indeed a forge world, then we could we could juice it up. That is neither. Unfortunately. It is neither. However, this thawing facility fixes both of these. And it's a two-way trade. And it's a two-way trade. Yes. Ah, uh, that ruin! Okay, so we're gonna have to move around it. But... 
fine. These are gonna Actually, be the... real short distance now. That's <laughs> so deep. boom, boom. And we can even collect a forebear. Yeah, go for it. We need to do that more, actually. Reduces structure build time by one month. We're not really making structures right now. True. It's true. We don't have any structures to make. I mean, we can get that. We can get the, the, other, the other bonus, I guess. That's four more income just connecting those two. Worth. It, it, it'll be even more when you... Uh, uh, what you call it? Machine interface, the goods planet. If we are able to get goods onto the goods planet. Mm -hmm. One thing we do need to start thinking about again is we're pretty behind on missions. Yeah, that, that's that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. I like the whole like prosperity build we've got going on and the income we're getting from it. You know what? I I wanted heavily to focus on money. We did that. Let's stop focusing on that for the moment. And unless we get a huge amount of money from doing something, we don't do it. We focus on our other sources. We focus on finishing our yeah. missions. Or, or research. Yeah, I, I think research is the is the short term. I think getting getting two-way trades is is what we need. Microchips are actually a little bit frustrating to get a hold of because we can only make them on remnant worlds and nanotech, nanotech facilities yeah but i mean do we have a, an ore source around there it could actually be a nanotech source from here but we can't actually get that one here's an idea here's yep. an idea what about moving the mine to between the planet we'll and hit. the nanotech facility yeah yeah, that mine right there. We can totally do that. It's, we would have to do it next year, though. It kind of sucks because it would be great to get goods to that planet right there. Uh, is there another forge? There's a forge to the north, actually. Could you could you have a little look at that? Uh, the yeah, the north, uh, east, west, west. Yeah, I think we should aim to get that producing the chips. That's the goal. For what? Though? The mission. Yeah, it's it's for the mission, but what around here takes those chips? Who cares? I think we need to just bash these missions through. I think we straight up just need to find a way to complete both of these missions. But if we do chips here... Then we, we lock the arid world out of goods. Lock the arid world out of goods. Yeah, yeah right, Pratchett. right, right, right. Yeah. I mean, any, I mean, what about we just have a look? Let's, let's do the easy one first. What about we have a little look? Pairs of planets that are close together that will give us the two-way trade. Some, so something like that. Like really humans into ore, into, into colonies, something, something along those lines. Because I think that is, that is what's, that is what's necessary at the moment. If there is an immediate combo, then that would be would be brilliant okay so humans make wait, people meet so people make just the same two things at the same time that's not gonna help us there Ex exploration maybe we could do a little bit of exploring if there's nothing if there's nothing good uh there's humans into biomass biomass into humans actually on that planet right there guy yeah yeah there you go and then wheat so that's the one bottom side as well we can oh, actually dude. do that. Beautiful. Uh, let's try and pass the year without doing that, actually. Yeah, so scan maybe to the north? Uh, we could save money. Ah, it's, it's fine. Whatever, whatever you, whatever you think. I, it doesn't, if there's a good, if there's a good place, go for it. If not, then. Oh. <laughs> so, if, <it's, laughs> uh, okay, yeah, I'm skipping the next one then. <laughs> um, I just, I, I, I want to play. I want to play a game mode where you have all of the tech unlocked, and you're just able to just able to pog out massively. Mm -hmm. Pogging out of control would be great. Pogging out of control. If this can get what it needs, one more person input, and then it could have an export route. We could put a lab here studying a person and water, right, to get another export yeah, what route about, for this. 
What about up to the north? Because there's a primordial planet as well there that could receive a human and output a... Actually, biomass? But that would be another double trade? Uh, another another uh, two-way trade? If it's bacteria breeding? Yes, that is a two-way trade, but that's all it accomplishes, it, being a two-way trade. It would suck. However, long-term plan is to put a biomass lab in the middle there. Right, so this would go, like, here, then. Yeah, it could go. It, it could, yeah. Oh, I mean, but it doesn't even need to move, so hang on. Let's, it doesn't need to move. Let's undo that. Uh, connect those, and then this was that. New technology is available as well. Skill implants. Uh, there's drilling, mineral, lava, and ice ball can make... We're not really... That's not something we're really looking for right oh, it's now. Well, actually, you say that. What about in the left? What about in the left, uh, the left flank? Is there... There's an ice ball planet there. It's also a dessert which... here. I, I, I do love a dessert. Yeah, okay. No, it's garbage. It's, yeah, don't, yeah, let's not even entertain the idea of drill bots. Is it skill implants? Is that, is that it? Or is it maybe saving for hyperdrive? Because that's next, next turn. And that might solve a couple of our problems. Yeah, hyperdrive and then probably skill implants afterwards, though. Because hyperdrives are expensive. Yeah. Or we could also just, you know, wait for it and, and go for the, uh, the slipstreams as well. Yeah, hyperdrives do, or hyperlanes do work well with slipstreams. We, okay, so we need one more, one more two-way trade, and then we need... This is only something. a biomass input away from popping prosperity. Oh, so if instead undo, we undo. move this down here and don't do the biomass yeah. lab, we're fine. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's great. That's great. That's a beautiful, beautiful combo. I mean, we could still do a biomass lab there. Hold up. We could still do a biomass lab. Like, to the north. Yeah, this would just need another input of another person. And that could be very much happening when we get hyperlanes. Yeah. No. Maybe, like, a, no, not it would be hyperlane and slipstream, right? Goes there. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, I mean, that prosperity is, is, is pretty good. Mm -hmm. We're building up our score through prosperous planets as opposed to happiness or anything else, which I think is fine. Uh, missions. Missions, missions, missions. Yep. Let's get, let's get that, let's get that last two-way done. And then, you know what? That Forge world at the very west, I think we just, I think we immediately colonize. Uh, that's, that's east, I think. Yeah, that's. Oh, all right. Sorry. No, no, no. I, I'm the worst for uh, easts and wests, lefts and rights. I think we just, okay. Why, why don't you whap that down as a nanotech fa facility right now? Just so that we have like a little bit of extra vision. See if there's any other planets up to the north that would potentially be okay all right it's it's fine to make that a nanotech facility but we should make sure that we have the ability to put an ore into it because then we'll complete the mission yeah exactly and until that point it's not really that great for us we could yeah, try and look did. for a four banger i think that's a good idea i think that's a good, a good idea mm? nope it's it's not nothing though these these are useful planets at the absolute least hang on people make the fact they can be moved freaking anywhere is just brilliant. Mm. Exceedingly useful. Okay, that's not a two-way trade either. I'm trying to look for any of these that become a two-way trade for us. I mean, humans into, like, an arid colony is ideal because you can, like, incorporate that with a mine or a, a mineral planet or something like that. A remnant planet around here would be incredible. I mean, we could always move a remnant planet into that here. That is true. So, actually, there's a remnant planet over here. So, if this was a scrapping operation, it comes over here. Uh, the scrapping yep. operation goes into the colony. That gives us a two-way trade, right? 
And then yeah. that gives the remnant the second ore output. It puts its second ore output into the nanotech facility, pops the other mission. We have a two-way trade. We have three of those made. I, I think this is our play. Uh, yep. Maybe we scan the planet first. The scan it. The scan the planets to the uh, to the ocean, just next to the ocean world, just in case it is a remnant world. Uh, do you want to undo the move? First? Oh my okay. god, it is. I, I tried to undo. I was at the full limit of my undos. But yeah, that is actually I'll, straight I'll up a remnant world. So. <laughs> All right. There we go. Easy peasy. Uh, uh, uh. Wait. Actually, also, that's literally just a mineral planet. We could do it with a mineral planet instead. Less yes. Useful than however. Mineral. Yeah. You need to move the mineral planet. You need to move the mineral planet into. Yep. Prox. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's fine. I think that's totally fine. Oh, actually. I've got an idea here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And okay, could you yeah, okay, that's brilliant. Next thing, could you move the remnant planet down next to the thawing facility? So then we can use the minerals actually for three uses to provide robots to the thawing facility as well. Or actually, in fact, sorry, no, it's the humans that provide the the robots. But yeah, I mean either yeah. way that that works. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm 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 on board. I I'm seeing I'm seeing what you're seeing with Got a same brain sitch going on here. Okay, boom. I, that connection's made. This uh, one. actually, hold up. Yeah, how do we Wait, do that in terms of years, right? It, uh, actually, no, it's... Actually, no, it's fine. I was, I was sort of thinking that we'd be limited with the ore outputs on the mineral world, but we'll be adding a human input to the, uh... We'll be adding a human input from the colony, so that's fine. I think it's okay. You know, whatever you choose to do, I'm, I think it's, it's okay. Good, 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 very, very good. Well played. Honestly, that's pretty brilliant. Okay, much appreciated. We've got hyperlanes. Is it? Is it hyperlanes? Is that what we're after here? Uh, what so, are our right? missions actually? Before, before we, before we take tech, what are our missions? Hmm. Easy. Easy. You reckon? Yes, we. You we've reckon? got hyperlanes. We've got gravitic tugs. That's not a problem at all. Okay, so this one's an ocean planetary pop prosperous. We have no other ocean planets except for this one up here, but we will just be fulfilling its need as soon as possible. It wants a good. Uh, it wants a wheat. It, yeah, it, it will want a good after that in order it to. Won't, it will want a good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you're right. You're right. You're right. We have the ability to. No, that's not going to be it. So Forge World, we'll probably have to provide that if we can. I. I think definitely Forge World Planet to Prosperous because we've got this one, yep. which is need another input, a bunch of outputs. That's actually going to be a bit hard, right? We don't have anywhere to use all of those. This one I mean, just pops Prosperous, right? This just wants an input or an output. And with Hyperlanes, we might be able to do that. Let's think about this. Let's think about this. Where would we get the chip from? Or where would we get the ore from? Uh, okay, here's a cheeky solution. Yeah, 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 right? We move the ore planet. Yeah, yeah, we move the ore planet right up to... Right up to the lab, basically. And see if we can just jump over. <laughs> see if we can just jump over. <laughs> I think we can. Yeah, I think we can too. I think it's incredible. Uh, so we I got cash as well to that's do easy. it. Mm -hmm. I think... I think we have to take the Aphorians tech... Uh, the Aphorians... Actually... Let me hit... Okay. Uh, <laughs> what? It's all good. I was I was gonna suggest that we could do the we could do initially we could do the Bakar and the uh, and the Slithen mission, mm -hmm. and then we could come back and do another round specifically for the Aphorians because we could very easily discover six new planets. But it's it's all good. I actually think it's totally fine. You may Oof, need to move that, that might... again. Yeah. Yeah, out of range. That's irritating, but not the end of the world. Oh, that's as oh far as it really? Goes. It's not colonized. That's the only reason I can't connect that. So we can do this. Oh, that's good. Good, good, good. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. 
Okay, and then let's okay, what's... try and resolve this as quickly as we can then if we want to get the other mission done. Yeah. Uh... Bots make wheat. That gives us the ability to just put this around here and solve that there. Yep. That's that's good. Although we should scout up in these directions because we're looking for a forge world now, right? For the goods. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Unless we have a different source of goods somewhere. We could slipstream. Yeah, we could slipstream the goods across from there. That's what I was kind of initially thinking. Mm-hmm. But I don't like it necessarily. Maximum hypership range increased by 60%. It's really good. The problem is, is that we need to get a level 2 tech as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can get skill implants, actually. We can easily pick up skill implants next year, increase our money to the nth degree, then pick up staple jumps later. The problem is is time now, and we've got a very limited number of years left researching, unless we want to stick down another research lab, which I would dearly love to do, but unfortunately don't think that we can really find time to do. I think we might be done on research. Let's look up here first. Uh, no, 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 whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. Okay. We that's, found... That's fine, that's fine, that's, that's perfect. <laughs> In, uh, it ended up being good. Hang on, hang on. This is bots make wheat. This is, this is fine, actually, totally. Yeah? This, this is just our replacement Earth. It ultimately ended up being a lot better for us. Good, 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 good. Okay, new tech. What do we what do we got? I think we take skill implants, by the way, and I think we see if we can try and beeline to level level three. Oh, man, is there? How, oh. I like skill. Our implants. research situation. Our research situation is so bad. Is there a way that we can at all get the money? Look at it. Look at it. Oh. <laughs> wow. And it's, not all of these even have projects uh, on them yet. They they still have the ability to pop theirs. Unlocks mind control. Blocks any heart penalties from resource shortages, missing export or export. Wow. What's our happiness penalties at the moment, actually? Just to just to check on the if you hover over happiness, you'll see where our unhappiness is coming from. It's ten percent happiness for us. That's not it's, it's not it's a project though. It's a project exactly. Uh, it's not yeah. a project, it's just, it's, it's it's a tech. Yeah, it's a tech, but it's a tech that is a project. Is it? Oh, yeah. sorry, you're right, you're right, it is a project for an individual client. Yeah, okay, so we don't want to do that. Yeah, this, we don't want this to do This could it. just give us uh, a bot which could go into here, and then this props uh, successful. Yeah. And then uh, there's a forge world over there as well that could produce uh, produce goods. For us as a result. Produce uh, produce goods for the uh, for the planet right there. Because mm -hmm. it just needs goods. Yeah, as soon as this and gets good, action. <laughs> I did it, not it does that. it does also it does also need an export route actually, which is a bit of a, a bit of a, a shame, but uh Whilst true, that export route can be A lab maybe with anything? Hyperlane? Hyperlane lab? Just out of range? What about the other one? Up north. Also out of range. Ah oh, Swizz. I I really want to place down one more lab. I know that sounds unbelievably ridiculous but like is there any chance that we could get like a biomass lab in the north we have this biomass or a lab water here lab. so we'd have yeah if we oh, do yeah. a water, a water lab, lab we could do it down here and it would only be one study but it would be the export for each of these this one's another we export. could get it too we could get it too there's a there's a free water up to the north if we're able to tug that lava planet out of the way hyperlane to basically where the lava planet is at the moment mm -hmm. and then bring in a slipstream from the water planet to the north yeah Oh, that solves so many problems, actually, because that would that would prosper. I think that would prosper the middle arid planet there as well. Good. Yeah. Nice. Really nice. Really, really nice. What okay. about the the human the human uh, populace from the north, the uh, Arctic colony right there, right next to it? Just out of range. Is there? A is there a way? Yeah, let's see. So this can extend right up until oh, there. Oh, there's got to be. There's got to be. There's got to be. There's got to be. Yes. Oh, Perfect. go on, son. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It works. Very well done.
This still wants one more export route for another person. Well, I mean, once we get the the increased range, which what well, we're yeah. actually only uh two two years from. Whoops. <laughs> what are what are the other what are what are the other level three techs that we can get? Just looking looking at it now, because we got the silted discount. Void synthesizer. A synthesizer structure capable of synthesizing one unit of a basic resource and sending it to a planet. Okay, interesting. We could, we could pay for those, probably. Uh, ubiquitous yeah. it reduces empire cost. Yeah, no, we we haven't got long enough for that to be useful. Unlocks teleporter structures paired with another teleporter provides a long distance connection regardless of obstacles between. Built-in matching it's pairs. Very pog. Starbirth unlocks collapse on mineral lava, desert, and ice ball planets. Collapse them to give energy to deliver to other planets. That's Omega Pog. I've never seen that before, but that is Omega Pog. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we need? We need an ocean planet to prosper. Like we gotta focus. We gotta focus hardcore on that. It's like let's just here. this. Yeah. For successful, only wants one more input of a good. But then to prosper and live long. Mm. Uh, it's going to need a little bit more. Uh, that Earth-like can produce water with people, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so that's that's solving... I'm, I'm just thinking, how do we prosper everything around... How do we prosper everything around the... the ocean, light, the ocean worlds? Because then that solves two of our ocean worlds' demands, right? If we hyperlane across to the... Uh, to the top wheat production place with uh, from the mineral. There we go. So now that presumably just needs export. Export. And then that's its three successful adjacencies. Correct. Yeah. So this would just need good input, which we can get from here. Yeah, it's it's an easy one. It's close. It's very very close. In fact. Where can we output wheat to? Here, but that's not going to reach. Although Can't in two years' time labs. it will. In two years' time it will, but that's two years until we can complete the, the game. And two years until we can uh, complete the mission, which really sucks. I mean, these are probably Is, are the there, final yeah. missions we're going to be undertaking and completing, right? Are there any other forebear ruins that we can reach? I mean, we can't reach it with... No, not really. Is the answer to that one? Seems not, like it, yeah. Not we... really. Okay, we can't move them. <laughs> Why it's does a... gravity affect everything except for the forebear ruins? Oh, what a shame. What a shame. Yeah, I mean, I think actually you're right. Let's go for a little explore. See if we can try and find some output for that. Maybe we've actually see if we can on. find an output for the weed. That goes there. It makes it good. Bot comes in. <laughs> oh yes. Good play. Nice. Good stuff. That could happen. It doesn't have to happen. There's no benefit to it happening right now, but it's a possibility. Humans. Ah, actually, hold up. What about human output to the uh, to the to the biomass world? Is that within range? It's gonna be just right, like just. Boom! You did hey, it. there we go. Okay, and that that gives us a year a year sooner. Okay, I I think that we can at least take. We can at least take that one. Colonizing three planets is is probably easy enough. Yeah, that's almost certainly going to happen, but we can take that right before we do some of that colonization. Correct. Uh, what's the tech that we've got available to us right now? Reaction lists as well as the stable jumps. I only take stable jumps because that, that is going to allow us to complete so many connections. Uh, and this is outputting that person. Also, there, right? Or there? Y Either or. I mean, it could be, could be both, to be honest, but it's just a case of it takes one month... The returns that we're going to get are fairly limited, although in saying that, you just prospered the world, so I guess it's totally worth it. Well, yeah, it's the prosperity that I was aiming for consistently there. The other question is, will that Arctic world 
feed into the mineral world at the bottom that we are getting uh, getting water from? Will that be able to just a normal slipstream right across to the bottom mineral world? Oh, or or yeah. Is is this not the one you meant? No, I was meaning the one to the south. But to be honest, both of those are brilliant. Either or will do it. This one yeah. will. Well, this will pop prosperous for doing it though. I actually it won't it. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. Because this becomes successful <laughs> as well, and it's an export route. What about the other one next to it? What about uh, what about the, the sorry the thawing facility at the other side? Is yeah, it also doing the exports there? This needs another yeah. import route to become successful. So unless we're putting another bot in that, that doesn't really accomplish anything. Unless we can also get we... an export for or uh, for or there, yeah. Wait, hold on. We could that could prop successful though. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure if it's worth. But I, actually, I guess, what are we talking about? It, it probably is worth. It'll increase your score just by a little bit. And it costs us hardly anything. Mm -hmm. This could even throw its back up there. Oh, no, it already is throwing up there. Oh, okay, cool. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> um, Yeah, I yeah, I would make the case that that's probably not worth unless there is definitive it, it, value that we can gain from the extra tech. It's it's not the tech. It's just getting the person not to be unemployed anymore. <laughs> Get them off the couch. That's a great Put point, down actually. Put the bomb, yeah. Gary. It's time to study. <sighs> what is that? I mean, we have so much prosperity, actually. It's just a, it's just a shame that there are only little pockets of success around. Well, I mean, there's only little pockets of success because everything else is prosperous. It's true. It's true. <sighs> do we have a science lab just, uh, working on ore? Uh, we do not, I don't believe, right? Science okay. lab on one, two... Undo. Water okay. Undo, yep. Undo that route and then see if we can maybe stick down a research lab that outputs both of those ore. I mean that yeah, that would be a fine place, but that's if we anywhere, do it here, it doesn't really have to have a hyper lane on the bottom Eve. one. Sure, sure. Does that prosperity anything? No, it we doesn't. Still need... But it does give another output route to this, so this can become prosperity now. Okay. Nice. That's good. And then. Anything else? Another import route. This is adjacent. One successful, two successful, three successful. It's got import, export, export, export. If we import oh. another body oh, in here, human into have... human into remnant world. Human into remnant world from the north, right there. Yeah, because we can hyper hyper lane this just to the south to the yeah that one. Boom, prosperous. Well, good done. Well, good done. Well, good done. <laughs> You can tell uh, my brain's being fried by the video game a little bit here. Uh, oh, we're so close to making so much, so much prosperity. So much prosperity. It does nothing. Yeah. Do we, can we get more robots on that remnant world right, right there? Uh, the remnant world, this one? Yeah. No, three is as no. nice as map it, even if it props prosperous. I, th I think these are probably as as well connected as Hogged. they are going to become. Yeah. Uh, is that forebear ruin? No, it's not reachable by anybody, is it? No. No, we got no human spare. Got Eleven months left this year. I'm I'm yep. pretty I'm pretty pleased with how we've actually ended up here. Yeah, it's it's really really strong. We're not done, but we're getting damn near. Uh, this could export to here, which doesn't do anything except for income. Let's let's focus yeah. on our happiness, right? Because we're not completing more missions at this point. We're not really going to be increasing the size of the galaxy again. We'd need five more it's, planets, yeah. and we don't really have the time to colonize and possibly even connect those. So if we just focus on the prosperity as well as trying to make sure that things have the ability to export, our happiness modifier may take us over the line. Yeah, I think you're right here. I think you're you're absolutely right. 
Is there a chance that we can go from that wheat world to that prosperous world? Wheat world in the west to prosperous world in the middle. It's a bit of a long stretch, but... Yep. Wow. Okay, yeah. That's that reduces... another export route for this, but it would need another export or import route as well. So it needs another bot coming in or another biomass coming in. Uh, we have excess biomass up here. We can do that. Yeah, let's do it. Let's actually do it. That's that's pretty hype. Uh, wrong world. Oh, but sorry. Yeah, right. good try. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice. in the vicinity. It was. It was. Uh, okay, so that's yeah, that's another couple of happiness at, points right look there. Look at all this freaking prosperity. <laughs> it's true. It's true. We are a little bit low on the old cash, actually. But we are, it's but okay. like, I the fact that we're going low on cash to me means we didn't end up over focusing on cash we only I really just had yeah. the ability to pay for what we used you're right okay i'm just i'm thinking resource shortages or resource bonuses are there any other places what about okay res, uh, good production world right up to the arctic world in the north is that too much of a stretch good i feel like it might be right up to the arctic world in the north. yes that one is out of range uh, how how much out of range i want to know how much i'm good i've got to be upset about this Oh god, it's a game of millimeters. millimeters. It's okay. Uh, there's another world. There's another world that it could go to. Uh, yeah, right one. over to the right. Yep, that one right there. They're both prosperous already. It, yep, but it does get rid of the excess goods. It and does? Excess but that doesn't goods. do anything. It does. It does, doesn't it? No export. Nope. It's, it's the ones that have no export. This has a bunch of exports. It's only floating humans, oh. regardless of how many humans you made. And planets uh. that aren't outputting anything. Ah, okay. So All right, that makes the sense. The no export planet, where is it? Do we? Uh yeah, that might that might have been it. The chip the chip planet to the very west. The chip planets. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's literally is it. Is that right? it? How much unhappiness has that given us? Uh 2%. 2% no trade. So if I we mean... if we get rid of that uh, two percent, <laughs> there we go. That's yeah, that starts us starts that right out. Yep. I mean, anything else that we can really do up here? Honestly, it's just pop prosperities. That's it. Yeah. And this would need two successful adjacencies. It's probably not really going to get those because it can't just like forge an adjacency to something successful already. This I mean, there, the yeah, there's an route. yeah. What about adjacent? Yeah. What about uh, what about wheat to the prosperous world, up in the north there? It might be a little bit too far, but I think pushing it a little bit is is fine. Wheat to the prosperous world. This one. Yeah. That's another successful. It's better than a slap in the face with a wet fish. You're not wrong. We can't afford. Wow. Been a while since we've seen that sign. Asteroids. One little pocket of change down there. That's nice. still not gonna do it because it needs another import or export um don't have any extra stone from here or biomass uh it's the, probably not we have almost we have literally almost found a use for absolutely every resource here mm -hmm. i came back cool and then other than, you know, the fact that we should be very happy with how this run has progressed, even after the shaky little start that we didn't have uh, because it never happened. Um, <laughs> you know, I I think this is a well this is a well governed empire. It's it's very tight, very efficient. Can you agree more? Very good. Very good. So where is our happiness coming from at the uh, our unhappiness coming from at the moment? Uh just past shortages, so we can't do anything to fix that. It's very true. Only time will We'll fix that. Wow. And our missions haven't changed by any chance? Because they sometimes change. I know that it sounds a little bit flippant to... They have Yeah, not. no, okay. Yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Okay, so... This has adjacency with only one successful, so there's no real reason for that. So this is a good candidate. Only needs one more successful yeah. adjacency. Only needs one more import-export, right? Both of those possibly mm -hmm. could be fulfilled at the same time. We find the right path. Um, uh, and then there's no. also this one that only for Prosperous needs two more import exports, and one of them can be this after if we getting get them. the asteroid down here, which we probably just have to pop anyway. Yeah, 
I think so. There's no way that we can get more robots down at that... Uh, sorry, more robots to produce water down at that prosperous planet. Because I'm thinking of ways that we can try and... Uh, it was the it was the robot production planet or the water production planet, the thawing facility at the other side of the map. But it's it's okay. Oh, thawing facility at that side of the map. Uh, this one? Yeah, down at the bottom. Down at the bottom. That's prosperous. That's already maxed water. Yeah. Which is fine. I mean, there's an. Is that is it an arc to the very south? Is it an Arctic planet or is it a uh, an ice ball planet? Arctic. <laughs> no, okay, we can't we can't find spare robots for that, unfortunately. Just a bit tough. Because we ended yeah. up using five robots down here. I'm pretty pleased with that. That's impressive, actually. A concentrated effort. To find another robot for <laughs> We never used energy. <laughs> I know we haven't done anything with energy at all. But just the crazy thing about this game is that every time we have built like a totally different strategy around what we around and completely different from what we actually set out to initially achieve like mm -hmm. it's never been what we were after but we we learned we overcame we adapted we came and we saw and we conquered that's true we venied the heck out of it you best believe we vd'd and orbital. <laughs> what else did we do? I know, I know there was one more on the list. Uh, VD, Vichidi. Vichy. Many Vichy. Judy. Dame Judy Dench. That's what you meant, right? That's exactly what I meant. Perfect. Um, so this I'm only needs an import or export. This only needs an import or export for Prosperous. Those are like two, two focuses for us possible. It's just the nobody wants is hard. Nobody wants wheat. Nobody wants wheat. Uh, I, I I don't think that there's anything. I don't think there's anything else. I'm not I'm not seeing an immediate way to upgrade all of our, you know, our three candidate prosperous planets up to successful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. I mean, there's so few goods. There's so few goods, uh, goods, resort. There's so few resources to go around. There really are painfully few. Can't afford. I mean, that is the that is the one route that we could maybe do. But I mean, that's only going to increase trade income. It's not going to increase the score. I mean, I don't think we can increase the score anymore with just the nine wealth. So let's increase the trade income by doing that end up with can we move an asteroid is, is it possible to move an asteroid like I'm, I'm very curious to see if we can actually do this so let's try and move maybe this oh, we can't afford it we'd have to uh, undo a yeah. bunch of good stuff to ah, try no, and no, move no, an asteroid no. not worth, not worth. All right, that's i i think we uh I, I think we say we did it i think we i think say we... hip hip hooray is this is this the fabled five star the fabled five star uh tough mode or or not what do you think boom five star <laughs> five star tough mode we honestly you know what surprised me most about this run mm -hmm. is the 141 percent happiness modifier that we ended up with like given that we didn't take any happiness specific techs that's insane yeah Having the ability to prop prosperity on so many of those just because we have the hyper lanes to, to fund them after the fact. And also, a large amount of that came out of the fact that our opening was built such that almost everything was ready for prosperity just at a moment's notice. It's true. It's tr There's so much prosperity. It's just crazy. Dude, hyperlanes are sick. They're so freaking good. Mm hmm You can see how many of them are the arcs down here. You can see all of the different... Oh, my God. They were so instrumental. Yeah. And the Gravitic Tugs as well. Like, yeah. we wouldn't have gotten to hyperlanes if it wasn't for Gravitic Tugs fixing all of this, all of this, this whole area. Oh, my God. This is Gravitic Tug to heck. 
Yeah, I, I mean the whole yeah the whole north northwest is is so tightly packed that it's laughable actually. It's very mm -hmm. very very cool. Oh wow. G G really bud. G G. Well played. Great yes. job. Oh. And of course, as always, it's great that uh, the only <clears throat> run that we recorded was uh, was so successful. I know, I know. It's I, you know, Rhapsody. It's it's been great, but unfortunately, we're gonna have to sign off this post commentary. Um, it's been it's been great, and it, you know, it's 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 been unique uh, recording this after the fact. Uh, mm. I'm just glad that we were able to, you know, play the game completely independently of our commentary. It gives us a little bit of extra, a little bit of extra focus, mm -hmm. nuance. It definitely sounded in the middle of the uh, of the recording there because we were, of course, you know, employing acting. Um, it sounded in the middle there like we didn't know where it was going to go, but we always knew it was going to end up there. When Orbital asked the question, is this the fabled five-star tough? He knew it was. See? Exactly. Exactly. And just, just you wait until you see the next run that we've got recorded which is a five-star platinum level S tier plus incredible performance tough run. Where we skip the one. first 10 years without setting anything <laughs> down just to increase the difficulty on ourselves. It's going to be a wild time. You'll be able to find that on one of the channels that uh, is linked in the description below this video. Either Orbitals if you're watching it on my side or mine if you're watching it on Orbitals. For the moment though, hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time. Bye.